Peyton, thank you so much. And I'm honored to be joined by Coco Crapel, the Principal Chief for the United Home and Nation now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And I know, first of all, you want to play us something? Sure, we always get started with a little ceremony song. All right, let's do it. Thank you so Thank very you. much for that. How was your tribe affected by Hurricane Ida? A lot of our people, you know, I mean, devastated. I mean, we have over 19,000 tribal citizens and around 11,000 of our people got affected in some kind of way between, wow. you know, shingles missing, trees down. I have some people that don't have a house to go back to, you know, and, and just yesterday, you know, we, we were able to bring uh, um, you know, a little camper trailer to one of our elderly couples that live down in, in Ponashir area that a lot of our people have their houses built up on pollens, but their whole house was, you know, destroyed from the wind and stuff. So they took blue tarps and wrapped it around the pollens on the bottom and they were staying under their house. You know? Oh my gosh. So, you know, we, we have a lot of people that, that was affected by the hurricane. And I know you've received some help, but obviously not enough. Tell us a little bit about that and what people who want to help can do. Right. Well, we're blessed that, you know, a lot of churches step up and different native tribes from different states and things that stepped up and helped us. We, you know, we're the largest tribe in Louisiana, 19,000 plus people. We spread in six different parishes. And, um, you know, so many of our people in, in at least five of the six parishes got affected. And, um, you know, we had churches step up, different native tribes from different states and things. And, um, you know, any, anyone want to help out, they can go to unitedhomenation.org, you know, and, and help out any way they can. Even, you know, just prayers to help us get back, you know. I mean, this is a long recovery, you know. It's going to take years. Some of our people will better return back you know, and rebuild, but some of our people, you know, like on fixed incomes and things and have to make a decision every month, you know, to pay their light bill or, or pay their medication. So wow. they don't have the funds to rebuild, you know. And a lot of our people are fishermen and things and lost their houses and their boats. You know? Nobody should have to make those decisions. You know, you know. And, and, and going out yesterday, you know, I mean, the United States is one of the richest countries in the world. To see our people have to live under their houses and sleep in tents or in their cars, you know, I mean, you know, I, um, I just think the government can do a better job and, and do it faster. You know, you ride around, you see trailers in big empty fields, you know, thousands of trailers, and we still have, you know, so many people that, that are living outside. You know? I'm so sorry. Chief Crapel, thank you so very much for your time. Guys, let's toss it back to Eric and Sheba in the studio. Yeah, yeah it's unbelievable to hear people living under their houses. Yeah, and, and especially what they went uh, through with that uh, hurricane.